Good morning, all. Holy cow, look at the sweat. Ugh. Look at that booty. Gross. Oh. So today was cardio core. So what it is is you have two cardio movements that you do <clears throat> three times. And then after that cardio movement, you have a core movement with the slides, which basically they look like big frisbees. And then you do that, I don't even know how many times. <clears throat> and then at the end, you do each core movement one after the other for like, I don't even know how many minutes, but it's like re 10 reps of each core movement. I wanna say there's like five or six core movements. So like, look at the sweat I just got off of my eyebrow. Ugh, gross. <laughs> but as I tell you guys all the time, I love the sweat because then I know I did something. I worked hard. And never in my life, I still would like to see cuts here, but never in my life did I have like some sort of muscles and abs poking through. So right here, <laughs> I yes, we are always our worst critic. So this is my critique of myself right here. This is what I'm working on right here. And I know a lot of this is more nutrition. Good morning, mom, good morning, Amy. So these little areas right here is more nutrition and I'm working on that. You know, I lost a friend, so I had a couple drinks in his honor and like things that I haven't had in a while and I didn't like the way my body felt from it. So I guess it was a good thing that I did that because now it's reminding myself why I don't eat that stuff. Um, I wasn't super bad. Like if I told you guys what I had, you'd be like, oh my God, that's that would be me being good. But for me, it's bad. Um, so I've been good the past like three or four days. Um, good morning, Brenda. So the beginning of this round, we're in week three, halfway. Um, and at the beginning, like week one, I had some life stressors going on. Week two, I had a couple life stresses going on. So I was picking a little bit more in the pantry than I did the first round. So, but I'm still gonna push through. It's, every day's different. Um, hey, Terry. Hey, Casey. So, I wanna talk to you guys about choices and that it's a choice. And what I mean by it's a choice, I mean everything. Everything in life is a choice. To get stressed out is a choice. To push through when something is difficult in life is a choice. To go after your goals and go after your dreams and go after the things that you want is a choice. Everything in life is a choice. Good morning, Healthy Fit. Um, and let me catch my breath, holy cow. I'm still trying to catch my breath, it's crazy. So everything in life is a choice. You choose to be happy. You choose to be sad. You choose to let things affect you. Hey, Lindsay. Awesome work. How was your results for round one? Um, or is this your first round? Um, so I love phase two and phase three. But I went back to phase one, so in July I'm going to start Joel's new workout program. So, my question to you guys is, do you choose happiness? Do you choose positivity? Do you choose to be you? Everything is a choice. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It's crazy how you feel like it, after these workouts, it's like a, I'm accomplished, but a little bit dead at the same time. Um, but and that's what I love most about these programs is they really push me. Um, but then there's programs on days that I know I can't go like really strong and crazy. I could pick one of the little bit lighter workouts, but still get a workout and a sweat in. But like seriously guys, my legs, my skin has been so dry since Mexico. I've been like lotioning up like crazy and my legs have been so ashy, but right now there's no ash to my legs at all <laughs> because they're sweaty. But anyways, let's talk about our choices. I guess I will no longer be using this as my dish rag. Um, it'll now be my sweat rag. So in life we have choices. We've always had choices. You have your good choices, your bad choices. Growing up, we were always told to think about our choices and every choice has, you know, a repercussion. 
You can't just make a choice and then nothing happens after it. So we're always, we've been taught ever since we were young that choices, they're all over the place. It's up to us to make the right ones for us. And that's something we still have to remember when we get become adults and when we become parents. Because yes, as parents, our choices affect our children, but they're still choices for us and for our lives. And everything in life is a choice. Um, I posted something this morning on my personal page about stress and how stress is a choice. And that's so true. And I've been proud of myself because lately I've had some things going on and um, I've been good about the way that I'm approaching it and the way that I'm having my mindset with it. And um, I think that's really, really important. And my book, Girl, Wash Your Face, is really helping me big time with that. So for my ladies out there, because it's not a book for boys, so sorry. Even in the title, it says Girl, Wash Your Face. You can tell it's a book for girls. But um, any of my ladies out there that just need that extra boost, hey, Terry, need that extra boost and need that extra confidence and need reminders of how wonderful you are and that you are worth it and that going after your goals is worth it. It is a great book to read. But you know, life is gonna have stress. Hey Michelle, it's a given. Life is life. Life is life. But let me tell you this, you make the choice, the choice to get completely overwhelmed and stressed or you make the choice to look at it almost like an outsider's perspective. Outsider's perspective. You have the choice to look at it from like an outsider in and really dissect, okay, is God trying to teach me? Am I supposed to be learning a lesson here? Um, let me think about the situation. Don't act right away. Think about it. Maybe count to 10 before you react to a situation. That's the key, that's what I've been doing, is before reacting to a situation, I, at least I've been trying to, before you act on a situation, count to 10. Give yourself a moment, because a lot of times we act out in anger. And that's what's gonna cause us a lot of stress. Um, you too, have a great day. Um, enjoy that PT. So, you know, I think it's very, very important to get the right mindset around stress. You look cute. I don't think so, but I can wash and dry them for you if you'd like before you wear them. Like wash them. Well, not today, but <laughs> won't be done before school. Right that won't work. You have to. They have to be wet. Um, so for me, it's about remembering that everything is a choice. It's about knowing. Hey, Natalie, how are you? It's about knowing that you can choose the stress, you can choose the anger. Or you can choose to take a moment, take a breather, really reflect, really think about things, and then act. Um, I have found that doing that and thinking about things before reacting has helped me alleviate some of the stress. Um, you know, I used to carry a lot more stress than I do now, and that is one of the things that caused a lot of my anxiety, and then my anxiety would cause panic attacks and things like that, and I was like always taking my Xanax. Um, and now I'm finding that reacting in this way, doing things more for me. If I don't wanna argue and I don't wanna fight, I'm just not gonna. Where before, like if there was an argument or a fight, whether I really wanted to deep down inside or not, I went after it and I just said, okay, you know, I don't know if, if it's my older age or I'm just tired and I just don't want to anymore or if it's because I've just really changed my mindset a lot. But either way, I'm really noticing a lot of things that our choices. The way we react to anything is a choice. Pushing through when you don't want to on things that are hard is a choice. Picking a healthy plate with the right portions for food over fried foods, french fries, and cupcakes is a choice. And the choice starts here. You have to have your mind wrapped around the fact that you wanna do that for yourself. You have to have your mind wrapped around the fact that you are done with stress, anxiety, and panic. You have to have your mind wrapped around the fact that you don't want to be sad. You don't want to deal with all the crap. Once you get it here, act 
acting it out and doing the actions and doing it day by day is going to be easier. But it starts here. It starts here. And that's where we need to get everyone to, myself included. So really diving into this book has helped me. I ended up reading like three or four chapters last night just because I was aggravated. And instead of going into fight and argument mode, I went into, I'm gonna sit in my big red chair and I'm just gonna read until my mind is on something more positive. So when I go to sleep, I'm having positive. And let me tell you, I had a dream of being at a resort sitting by a pool with my friends. <laughs> so I think I might start reading at least a chapter before I go to bed and put my mind in such a good place. I have like the best dreams ever. But everything in life is a choice. The way we react, the things that we do, the things that we wear, the things that we say. So let's make the right choices for ourselves. Make the right choice that's going to make us happy. So I have a call to action for you guys. I don't think I've given a call to action lately. We've just been chit-chatting. But I do have a call to action for you today. Before you react to anything today, to anything. Oh, look, my arm. Oh, no, it didn't shake. I was like, oh, my arm was shaking. Nope. Um, so before you react to anything today, no matter what happens, and there's a fly flying around that has my attention right now. So before you react to anything, I want you to count to 10. And not one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a one, two, three, count like that until you get to ten. Then once you get to ten, the way that you're feeling, the things that you want to say, how you want to react, then react. I guarantee the reaction would be different than how you initially, initially, I can't freaking speak today, how you initially wanted to act. I guarantee it'll be different. So please try that out. Please let me know. Um, love you, Terry. Hey, Alyssa. Please let me know how that worked out for you. If you're watching the replay right now, in the comments, post replay. I'd love to know how many people come back and actually end up watching the replay. Or who's, I know who's watching it live because they're commenting with me now. But if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay in the comments or just write replay in the comments so we know. And let me know. Come back and let me know on this video or message me and let me know how that worked out for you. Um, so then that way I can have an idea of if this is helping other people because I love sharing with you guys things that I find that help me and I'd love to know if it helps you guys. So I, hey Mandy, I want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, halfway through the week here. I'm excited because I told everybody for Mother's Day this Sunday that I wanna do my run on the beach. Yes, on Mother's Day, I'm gonna wake up early and run on the beach because that is my happy place. I might even sit on the beach for a couple minutes because I know the kids will be sleeping. And then when I get home, I just wanna chill in my backyard. Whether we go to the store, buy some flowers and decorate the back, which is probably what we'll do, and then swim in the pool and barbecue, but I just wanna hang out with my family in the backyard. So I'm excited that I know that'll happen because it's Mother's Day, so they'll do it for me on that day. So I hope everybody else has a wonderful Mother's Day as well. Um, but I will see you for the next few days leading up to that day. But for today, have a great day and remember, Deep breath, count to 10.